And welcome back, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for part three of our sub battle stream. Team chat came back. They tied it up. I think I was up four to one after the first video. Tied it back up. We're at five five now. Um, starting off, we got a little under two hours left that we're going to be playing. Um, first person uh, that just just got our next uh, match is going to be Boot. Y'all know Boot from um, the uh, uh, Overcooked 2 stream that we did the other day. Okay. Um, as far as what deck I'm going to be playing, I'm going to be spinning this wheel to, de to determine what deck I'll be playing. And looks like I got Jeskai Giants. Okay, Jeskai Giants is next. I guess we'll just do the challenge thing. I didn't get boots. Uh, gamer tag in here so I'm trying to do the friend challenge see if boot accepts okay accepted so we are going to go grab um, Jeskai Giants here's Jeskai Giants here's the deck We got lots of giants in here and Realm Cloak Giant to go along with the giants. It looks like all we have are three mana cards, but you know, Brazen Borrower, Bone Crusher Giant, those things you can cast for two. All right, so that's our deck. Boot. All right, leading with Temple of Triumph, even though um, you know it's not a blue source. Basically, I want to see what we're playing against first before I start opt-in. I don't think I need to like opt right away on turn one before seeing more Birth of Meletus. Fourth land may not be bad. I can do longer. Stand by and watch. I'll protect you. I'm like, don't really want the temple. Gideon. So Gideon ticks up to five. I walk so I'm just gonna go Brazen Borrower plus Bone Crusher Giant to get to get rid of Gideon. Thrix. I can take it. So I can keep the veto. O fours don't pair the best with Gideon as far as attacking goes. I need that extra land. So 
Boros versus Jeskai. Is it better to have blue in your deck or not? lights. Trust me. You'll thank me later. Here we go. Just getting rid of the O4. You know, like, I could bounce Banishing Light, but then Banishing Light just gets replayed into, like, what... You know, like, what's really the difference? evil from this plane. I will lend you my strength. Tectonic giant. Do some attacking. the weak at every opportunity. I believe in you, friend. TikTok Giant's just a sweet card. Getting Gideon out of here and playing a temple. All right, matching castle art and veils now. I got this. Tectonic Giant's a win more card? What? That sentence doesn't even make sense. So like, Tektronic Giant only wins games you were going to win anyway? Mm. 
It's good when you're ahead. I mean, every like basically every card's good whenever you're ahead. It's it's just fine when you're behind too. Like you know, you play it if they if they have removal for it, you get a free card. I'm taking out Clarion. And yeah, yeah, whenever we play this, we de definitely got to outrace a lot of people because the the extra three damage attacking for six with our four drop. I think it's good. Just because I'm I'm the only person playing the card doesn't mean it's a win more card. Those are different things. A win more card is a card that's not contributing to you winning the game, and that's not what that's not an accurate statement with Tectonic Giant. See if the Tectonic Giants can have us win this one. Yeah, I'm up. Out of already. Yeah, that's a good, good call. Yeah, it does get around Narset. That's a good call. Uh, exile target creature with power four or greater. Hmm. Three power? How about that? And the four toughness, it didn't die to the one Clarion. I had to use the two Clarions last game. Card's just been kind of perfect. Don't want to do the three damage to the opponent with the Wanderer in play, because the Wanderer does prevent that. This staircase looks really cool on this Wanderer card also, with that art. The staircase looks really nice. Alright, so I can bounce the Banishing Light to get that giant back. I could also just, you know, counter this Bone Crusher giant. Then I don't have to worry about it being played again. Um, I'll just do that. I don't know, maybe I should just Brazen Borrowed. The borrower is going to go away if I don't use it. So we're going to be using it. I 
Uh, let me do stuff. There we go. Tectonic Giant, win more card. Would have easily won this without Tectonic Giant. Stomping one ones. Perfect. I can play Thrix and still have Absorb available. gonna take the land. I have a lot of cards. Feature! Thank you, Feature. Thank you for the uh, Twitch Prime sub. NTG bots one, one apart. It says nine, but it's actually eight. Kill Titanic Giant. That card's too good. Yeah, it's it's okay. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, Hawkeye. Fortunately, it did not make it. But yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, I understand. You didn't know. I guess I need, if I'm going to use Sinister Sabotage, this is the time to use Sinister Sabotage. Which I guess, so I guess I'm not going to use it. I haven't played any Historic since Theros has been out. But I have really liked, uh, I did really like Historic uh, playing it before, and I'm planning on playing more Historic. Oh no, I wanted... <laughs> I wanted the other Raisin Barber. I didn't want to just cast that one.
All right, I got the next one. So much card advantage from the giant. Yeah, Tectonic was brutal. Storm said that Tectonic is just a win more card though. So I would have I would have been just fine without him, I guess. <laughs> Those win more cards get you every time. All right, if you want, if you are a subscriber and you want to be uh, you want to play next, type the word battle into the chat. <laughs> Said it's good when you're ahead. Well, well, how do you think I got ahead, Storm? I did, like, they were like the only cards I was playing earlier. My hand w was just zero, um, you know, just zero other spells besides them. But yeah, a lot of cards are good when you're ahead. And that's another one. It's basically every single red card. You know, like, what's Torbrand doing for you when you're behind? What's Embercleave doing for you when you're behind? I guess those are win more cards. <clears throat> all right, all the subs in there. The one to play up next. Everybody type battle. Okay. Let's see who's up next. There we go, Taddy. Hey, yeah, you typed it in in your message, so you got it. All right, real Taddy, you are up next. Ooh, and Taddy says, I got this. It's going to be six and six after this. Send me that gamer tag. And I'm going to spin the wheel, see what deck I'm going to be playing up next. What deck am I playing up next? Orzov Hero. Okay, so Orzov Hero. All right, it's gonna take you a second to get it. All right, I'm gonna reset my. I didn't reset Arena before between the second and third video, so let's. I'll do a quick reset. If you're watching on YouTube, you can hit the fast forward thirty seconds. Yeah, chat's chat's right there with me. It's, this is neck and neck. We're six and five. All right, so my next deck's gonna be Orzov Hero. This is our hero deck list we used last time. Um, honestly, I don't have like a specific recommendation for, for climbing standard, um, and ranked. Um, <laughs> that's the thing about like the formats. There's, there's a lot of different decks you can play depending on what you like. Uh, right now in standard, it seems like the extreme, like the decks that take it to the extreme are, are doing the best. Like, so mono red aggro blue light control and simic ramp you know just playing like the hyper aggro deck the hyper control deck the hyper ramp deck like those seem to be doing the best it doesn't there's not really a 
a mid-range deck that's really um that's you know like that's what i'm trying to find is a mid-range deck that can compete with all of them but um yeah so i guess that would be kind of recommendations is just stick into the edges um historic like i said i haven't played since there so i'm not not sure exactly with historic i need to get back into some more historic I haven't played any enigmatic incarnation yet. I haven't. Okay, here we go. Has anybody had some success with enigmatic incarnation out there? Okay, you, you're having a lot of success with Simic Flash, honing it to a Razor's Edge against the metagame. Okay. Even even against Mono Red, like you're you're doing good against Mono Red with Simic Flash, and of course Simic Ramp, like both of those two. <laughs> Kenda says I've had a lot of success with Tectonic Giant, but only in games I would have won anyway. All right, waiting on Taddy. No, Kendis is on your side, Storm. Kendis was saying that on your side. He was wasn't wasn't poking fun. Candice was jabbing at me, not at you. Don't. All right. I think with three four mana cards in hand, we already have a three mana removal spell. I'm just going to be putting that down to the bottom. Regulator. Chandra's Regulator is really sweet. Won't lie. I'm a pretty great pyromancer. Go get him, buddies. This does not look good for me. Let's see. I guess we're going hero. Probably playing Seraph next turn. I like Labyrinth in this deck. I like that. Hey, don't worry. I brought company. Yeah, hopefully we get to play Athreos and get to do something cool with Athreos. I'm not sure. This this Acolyte of Flame beating me up. Uh, I just don't like Sarkin in this kind of deck at all. 
mother Ludi gave us homework. I really like Sarkin. Sarkin just turns on removal spells. What's this? I should have done vigilance. That's my bad. Should have done vigilance. The that was the perfect move for put doing the loyalty counter though. That was definitely the the right thing to do. Without the loyalty counter, I would have attacked the Chandra. The Chandra. Hey, these little guys are great. No, Deckmaster doesn't show the new cards. Unfortunately. Is that a sorcery? It is a sorcery. Hmm. I'm not sure about that card. Yeah, yeah, I talked about this before. I mean, Cardboard Live, you have to... You have to get... You have to like send an email and get approved and to use it and stuff like that. It's not. You, uh, I sent the email a couple of months ago and I never heard back. Uh, uh, another viewer in chat knows the person in charge of it and was going to talk to him, but. I could try to send another email, and that was a couple months ago. Um, I just want to get Tome of the Guild packed in play. Even though I'm not doing a whole lot this turn, but Tome's going to help me out. All right, so Athreos. We can start putting coin counters on our creatures. I don't, yeah, I don't know what the criteria to be chosen is. It's possible that the person just didn't see my email. You know, like it's... I don't know. Tome of the Guild Pact. So good. Every multicolor spell, we get to draw a card.
Atrios animation. The Corpse Knight was a great draw to give me something, a creature to play and put a corpse counter on. And that just fits a corpse counter on the Corpse Knight. That just works. This is kind of the cost of playing Fable Passage, is you don't get to discard Fable Passage to Regulator. You know, like they probably just want a better card. Regulator, you can only discard mountains. Tome's not legendary. Play another. Get to attack with Athreos. Hey, Hero, thanks for the host. Hey, don't start any fires without me. So, Flame Sweep happens. But we get Athreos brings the stuff back. Corpse Knight does some triggering. Oh, Corpse Knights enter the battlefield. I was thinking, I was thinking, cruel celebrant. <clears throat> okay. Elspeth conquers death. It's probably pretty good. Duress. Let's see, I don't I don't really want heat well, maybe we want heat one Heliod. Can take out Mortify. I guess I use Mortify to kill that dragon. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I guess we we did get to kill that dragon. Which now I don't have any removal for a dragon. That could be bad. We'll see. Yeah, could have the escape box. Maybe that's why we got uh, Fable Passages. The dragon from Sarkin. Sarkin's minus three ability. So Dispark doesn't hit it. You know, it's just a token. So we'll see if not being able to kill that comes back to bite me.
time to attack. So Chandra can recast Storm's Wrath. I'm telling Mother Ludi on you. This could just be Chandra recast Storm's Wrath. Interactive decks are decks with a lot of like removal spells and counter magic decks that. So they do ex exactly that. They interact with the opponent's cards. Hmm. I'm honestly surprised that Storm's Wrath wasn't the play. If the play was nothing. And I get to just keep up Pitiless Pontiff activations. GG. So I had basically I could I could attack out and then after damage then I could just you know spend all this mana and sack all these one ones and and you know ping some more with them so I could finish out the ten damage there. All right, so Taddy with the the updated Chandra Tribal. Oh, right. Chandra can't recast Storm's Wrath. Right, right, right. Because Chandra only casts three CMC three or less. Right, right, right. Yeah, team chat's doing good, though. We got a real close one now. I got the last two. It's seven to five. All right. So for all the subscribers that want to play up next, I haven't played before yet today, type the word battle into the chat. Whenever... There we go. After it says giveaway started. <laughs> it's okay, Daddy. That was good, good games. How's the deck been, been uh, playing for you? I'm, I'm not a big fan of Sarkin or the... I'm not sure about that Perforos' intervention. But I guess Chandra th being able to minus the Perforos' intervention is nice. There you go, Heaton. No, you you did it. You you're good. So yeah, you just typed ba battle right afterwards. So yeah, you're good. So you're gonna be in there. <clears throat> okay, everybody in there. Yeah, more people in there again. It's good. Okay, it's the only good way to deal with Nissa. So what it costs what four mana to kill a Nissa? Yeah, I mean I guess that's the best you got. Okay. Does Yeah, intervention does not go upstairs, right? Yeah, it's just creatures and planeswalkers. Okay. So yeah, I could I could see it doing just fine. And you do you can get extra mana with like four mana Chandra. Okay. Well I don't like Sarkin. That's a card I, I definitely know I don't like at all. You know, like Sarkin just turned on my Mortify. Don't like that one, but I could see playing that. Alright, let's see who's up next. Sandbox. All right, Sandbox, send me that gamer tag. 
That one's my gamer tag. Oh no! Oh no. Okay, well, I accidentally, I tried to click over, you know, like this, this small tab that was like that size. I tried to click, click over to it and I accidentally clicked the X. So I closed it out. But then I went and reopened it and it has all the decks on here, it looks like. So if we, if we hit a deck we've already played, we're just gonna respin. I think this has just happened the last two times. Okay, well, we have not played Selesnia Enchantment, so there we go. So it's a new deck anyway. I liked how how small the wheel was, though. Wait, I guess I can just del I can just delete stuff that we played. Um, also, we'll delete that. I'll I can move this off of here. Well, I don't know, I'll do it on here. So delete. Delete. Yeah, we played that. I misspelled mid-range. Golgari. All right. Anyway, let's just keep playing. We don't have to worry about that. Let's play some magic. All right. Sandbox. And then I am playing... Uh, was it? Selesnia Enchantments. Here we go. This is the, our Selesnya Enchantment deck. Okay. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Changers over to best of three. Yep, I'm on best of three. Good. Here, I'm gonna do the challenge thing with sandbox here over here. Oh wait, cancel. Uh, that only said best of one. Now best of three, challenge. Okay, there we go. Here we go. Hopefully sandbox hits the accept. Perfect. Okay. And I'm doing Selesnia enchantments. Where are you at? Oh, it went up to the top. Okay. All right, Wanderer's going to get me extra lands. Dryad will let me play the extra lands. It's a good combo. And then with more lands out of the deck, hopefully we draw more spells. Or draw step. Nope, we're just going to keep drawing lands. We got two lands out of the deck with that. I'm just going to be activating Castle Iron Veil. Oh, right. I could have played two lands. Whoops. I'm gonna play my second land. Nero Juma, thanks for the Twitch Prime sub.
No, I'm not Zedalom, honestly. What, um, yeah, what matchups are you struggling with the most with this deck, Baloney Pony? Oh, whoops. I need to play that untapped also for the Castle Iron build. Well, my plan of... Um, you know, draw more spells because Wanderer gets more lands out of the deck did not work. We drew a lot of lands still. I think we drew, what, I guess three spells. A Wanderer, an L Seed, and a Sentent Sentinel's Eyes. Those are not the most powerful. So nothing that costs more than two mana. Could have played just a little bit better though. Could have made another token last turn. Could have. Um, could have not played my lands. So I could have templed to scry. Turned out I would have kept the calyx on top anyway. Go next one. No, I haven't played the white green line with this deck. All right, bring it in, Ceratops. Um, Wow, we only have 24 lands? It's not a lot. So Ceratops, Gideon. I guess I just don't really do anything about Dream Trawler except for Elspeth Conquered's death. I don't think I really do anything else. Um, yeah, I don't think I do anything else. I'm going to take out Archon. Which pretty easily gets swept up by a sweeper. Take out Banishing Light. Hmm. We actually have a decent amount of good cards in here. Take out two Banishing Lights and a Bond of Flourishing. Like, but Banishing Light just isn't going to stay on the battlefield.
Yeah, too bad. You have Destiny Spinner. You can counter the spinner. But then can't counter stuff afterwards. Gideon's triumph. Here we go. I'm either playing Calyx or Gideon. I'm playing one of those two. strength. Gideon's Triumph is a good answer to Dream Trawler if you can cast it. I've Infant Speed it. if they don't have a Teferi in play also. Yeah, like basically it's either as far as uh, spending, yeah, spending gold and gems as a free to play player. It's just, you know, drafting. Um, it's, either, it's either gold drafting or, or opening packs. Um, hey, you know, like the, that was the absolute best way, way to maximize your gold and gems is by drafting or uh, playing this sealed, but that. Idea. You know, that is a time commitment that not everybody wants to put in. Um, but yeah, that's probably the absolute best. Well, I mean, Gideon, you're saying I was risking a board wipe. Gideon wouldn't, Gideon doesn't die to board wipes. Didn't need to play that there. A little hasty. I mean, I, I can give, I can give it indestructible, but can wait and respond to that. No, yeah, Gideon's indestructible. On your, you know, uh, that first thing. As long as it's your turn, Gideon is a four-four with indestructible. It's still a planeswalker. I am born at Nyx, 
child of the stars. Clothis, show me my path. <clears throat> Draw a card. Go planeswalkers, go! Turned future appears before me. So Dryad can't be countered, but then also draws me a card. Never mind, did not draw me a card. It lets me play these multiple lands. And obviously, we want to shuffle, so we just put good cards down to the bottom. So let's shuffle those up, take another land out. Yeah, planar cleansing would be bad. Absolutely. That could be what they're looking for right now. Yeah, planar cleansing would be bad. The sentinel, sent, uh, sentinels, the sentinels eyes, lethal. I don't know if I've ever had that before. The sentinels eyes, lethal. That's a new one. Yeah, we're a little, a little late there, Scary. We're doing, the, we're in the middle of the match. We're about, we're about to play game three, and then we're doing a new one. Hey, fintech, I'm doing really good. I, I did not get a new haircut. Um, I didn't put any gel on my hair today or anything, just kind of patted it down, but, um, but yeah, doing good. We've had, we've had a lot of really long, good, good close games. You know, this is only match number 13 and we've been streaming for six hours and 15 minutes. Thanks, Iscario. Yeah, that was my first time actually casting Bond of Flourishing in this deck. I don't think we cast it before. I mean, I just added it, you know, the last time that we played the deck, I ended it at the end of the video. I added it at the end of the video. And so 
I think that was the first time this match that we've drawn one. Knight of Autumn as a 4-3 means that if they play Shadow of the Sky, I get to draw a card. So that's cool. Yeah, we have Satessan Champion. We haven't we haven't drawn a Satessan Champion, but there is Satessan Champion in here. And Satessan Champion's another reason to hold the other Dryad. Like already, that's one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. That's already nine lands from the deck. There's only there's only twenty four, so there's only fifteen more lands in there. Um, wait till after they play Sweeper and then play Calyx. Uh, which one's more competitive, this one or the Abzan version? Honestly, not exactly sure. Pretty close. I would say... I honestly may say this version, though. Just getting the good mana, getting, like, the four Calyx. I, I think I'd... Yeah, probably this version. Found the champions. Clothis, show me my path. Let me lead the charge into dark. Prepare for battle. Yeah, Night of Autumn really is a flexible card. You're right. Incredibly useful. It's. Refer to this thing as instead of a Swiss army knife, this is a Swiss autumn knight. So you can do a little bit of everything. Turned future appears before me. I haven't tried any enchantment decks with Enigmatic Incarnation yet. It's something that I would like to do eventually, but I haven't yet.
Yeah, Vivian Reed was nice. Yeah, never missing. Calyx is multicolor, so harder to, to play and... You are reckless with your... Just misses all the time. Have one more basic land in the whole deck. I've been drawing a lot of those. Hey, there you go, Necrolepsy. Nice. Got that free Calyx from the Mastery Tree. Nice. The deck's certainly better whenever you have Satessa and Champion, which we have not had. Any of these games, we've never, never drawn one. It's of course the best card in our deck. You show remorse, I'll show the strength. I'll protect you. Unfortunately, Calyx can't find Satessan Champion. You dare defy the gods? Look skyward and receive the gifts of the gods. Yeah, that was the Beatles. Here comes the sun. Obviously, I could have just dealt four to them, put them down to two, and let Teferi stay alive. I think it's too important to kill Teferi, though. Well, I'm sure if I had the 1-1 one, one on the board to protect, uh, my opponent would have done something else. You know, I'm sure Sandbox would have played a sweeper or something instead, like would not have gone like inside into Teferi. Could have done something else. Or maybe it just doesn't have. It just doesn't have a sweeper.
nothing to fear from me. The patterned future appears before me. Thanks, Kakuna. All right. From Ireland. Thanks for stopping by. We're just going to combat. Don't don't want to play stuff first main and then let Gadwick. Um, let Gadwick tap things. Down to two cards, though. And although we're behind... Oh, gosh. It's just these absorbs are just so much life. Now, now we're... Now we're in lots of trouble. Another champion. Hopefully, no counter spell. All right, no counter spell. Mm. Don't think there's really any value to holding this. I guess I'll hold it though. That's game. Well, I guess. No. Okay. All right. Well, we got three shifting ceratops in here. I have an out. Wow. No, Eidolon doesn't save anything from Time Wipe. Time Wipe doesn't target. It's just a, all the creatures are destroyed. It doesn't matter if your creature has protection from any color.
GG is there a sandbox? Good games. Good game. Uh, I didn't think I was going to get that, but that was the perfect top deck. The Ceratops. Okay. We'll have one, maybe two more matches. We'll see. Um... All right, if you're a subscriber, you want to play, type the word battle into the chat. So go ahead and type battle. Necrolepsy, you're gonna have to type it again because you're in front of the giveaway started. You have to be after the giveaway started. Yeah, just normally, and you, yeah, you don't need the exclamation point. There you go. Yeah, a white, having the white uh, activation, the castle, the white castle would have, you know, if you could have had the white castle available, that would have been different, but... I mean, I think at that point, if you have if you have the Dream Trawler, I just don't think there's any reason to to use the Time Wipe then, right? Like, don't you just play Dream Trawler Pass, and then you can have the White Castle also? Do I have? Because I don't have Lethal, right? Through Dream Trawler, blocking and gaining life. I guess I could give something else pro blue. I guess maybe, yeah, maybe that would not have worked. Because then I would have had I would have had my L seed out that would have given, like you know the two four pro blue also. Yeah, that would not have worked. It, you would have had to have sweeper and then also have white castle available. All right, but looks like everybody's in there. Crazy support. All right, crazy support, you're up next. Send me that gamer tag. There's my gamer tag. And let's spin this wheel. And again, remember our wheel just got reset. So if we hit if we hit a deck that I've already played, we'll redo it. Which I already played Boros Aggro. So we will respin. Okay, you're not ready, choose somebody else. Oh whoops. Wrong command. Heaton, it was Heaton, Heaton 31, Grulkiora, all right, there's a different deck. Perfect, thank you, Heaton. Okay, so Grulkiora, this is another one that I am going to be replaying. It doesn't have very many, <laughs> yeah, basically has no Theros cards. It's got Temple of Abandon, which that's Clutch, and then we got Phoenix in the sideboard. That's basically about it. Not really a, a Theros deck. But it's a fun one, so here we go. No, Clothis, I don't know. Like, Clothis doesn't trigger unless you already have, like, a bunch of other stuff. So it doesn't, doesn't like, trigger Kiora. Deck already has, like, a good threes without Clothis. I don't feel Clothis is... Like, Clothis may not be strong enough for standard. Or you'd have to have a kind of a different deck to support it. This deck has a lot of haste. Uh oh. Heroes probably gonna be pretty tough. I can no longer stand by and watch. 
Let's try this. Wow, not even caring about Kiora. At least Kiora draws a card. I went with the with that card first because then I can double Spellbreaker this next turn. Uh, double Hero is going to be tough to beat, though. like a sweeper I, I I don't think I really have a chance here I don't it's all these one ones Let's see. I'll take out Vivian. Maybe I won't play Vivian. All right, what if, what if I do this? Phoenix of Ash is really nice. All right, let's go with this. Basically taking out um, the Domri's Ambush because it's easy to respond to. You know, like I have to have a creature as well. And then taking out Vivian because, again, you know, like the size doesn't necessarily matter against just... Uh, white and black removal. They're just all like destroy, destroy, exile. It's not like damage based and Oh that's cool, Taddy Kiki, y'all are playing, that's cool. I like that. I don't like my chances of two lands, a flame sweep, and a bone crusher giant beating seven cards from Esper. Wow. Yeah, I really don't like my chances. Nope. This hand, I had I had all my answers to hero this time. And this time, he had the thought erasures to take him.
Yeah, I wasn't planning on playing. This isn't a fight you can win. Um, That's more like it. I, was, I didn't really want to play the bone. So why didn't I just stomp them there and step? So I was just gonna play the bone crusher. I didn't really want to play the bone crusher. I wanted to play something else, but I didn't draw anything else to play. All right, if I play Kiora, then Hydra is only X is two. I've done the hero thing before. All your fears are given form. Trust me, you'll thank me later. No, I am not making this up as yeah, I Yeah, just gotta give it to Just gotta give it to Heaton here. You know, like both games. Very good mana, very good curve. Um You know, just, just had it all. Good games. Alright, we'll play one more. With that one not taking very long. Right, 16 minutes, that's enough time for one more. Alright, do it quickly if you are a sub and you want to play next. Type the word battle into the chat. See if y'all can ev get closer to even it up. Uh, too much time, anybody else? Anybody else there? All right, I guess Rankler, you are up. <laughs> we just got, all right. Good games there, Heaton, GG's. So if you're back, um, let's see. All right, let's spin the wheel. What am I playing for the last one? Yeah, good games. Yeah, you had, you know, like, the hero just dominated me that first game. Then the second game, I had my answers to hero, but then you had, you know, thought erasures and everything else, and just good curve outs, everything like that. GG's. All right, so I got Orzov life gain. All right, so to show this deck... So it's mono white, but also splash black life gain. Okay, here we go. Yeah, is the Rankler playing Rankle? to see. <laughs> Thanks, Q. Um, could use a witch's oven to pair with a triple cauldron familiar. Well, if Rankler just plays Legion's End, that'd be really bad. No Legion's End. Good. We're trying to ping to death with Cauldron Familiars.
Kitty cat aggro. That's why I like this deck. It's cat tribal. That's kind of a feels bad. Paragon. I guess I could have attacked first. I was expecting another Paragon. Yep. The Luck of Hawkeye. Alright, so it looks like aggro where I want these legions ends. And I want another Oath of Kaya. Maybe another Mortify. Maybe not. Probably Rakdos. Probably Rakdos. I take out a Heliod and a Midnight Reaper. Midnight Reaper is kind of perfect for this deck, though. All right, I'm gonna try this. Maybe I'm supposed to be playing the Mortify. I don't know about Libation or uh, three Mana Kaya. There's a lot of one drops. Let's see. Hey, there you go. Awesome. Matthew, you got Athassa in your free deck in your free draft. That's awesome. I think I got a mythic, but it was like one of the worst mythics. I don't remember which one it was. But I remember, pretty sure, sure I got one mythic. A good block for me. No, it's not. You have to be worried about Ember Cleave. <clears throat> so I guess I can't play Aerialist or Pride Mate even though I want to. Because I'm just like dead to Regisaur or Ember Cleave.
Okay. Down to... 13. Ooh, that's a good one. Don't worry about these cards over here. Don't worry about them. Boo, my Othakaya. Another Stormfist Crusader. Ooh. Man. Do I call it Heliod or Pride Mate? Oh, man. I guess it's... Or, I mean, obviously I'm playing Pride Mate. Sorry, do I play Heliod or Oath of Kaya? I guess it's Oath of Kaya. Uh, let's see. So they're at 13. So that's 3. That's 6. That's 7, 8, 9, 10. And then 11, 12. I only put them down. Ugh. Is this not lethal? 3, 6. No, so it's 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then they died at the Stormfist trigger. Yeah, so I have, I have 11 damage. And then the two Stormfist... Crusader triggers, kill them. Hawkeye's deck. Cat Tribal. Got us that last one. Cat Tribal. That's a great way to end. GG's there, Wrangler. Sorry about that first game. Um, but yeah, you know, leave the life live game deck there but yeah good games all right but there we go that's the sub battle stream that's always a lot of fun we do this the last saturday of every month uh you know we had the technical difficulties yesterday so i got moved to sunday sub battle sunday um but yeah the last usually sub battle saturday the last saturday of the month um this one was the first saturday of the month but of course it got moved um because of last time because of i wasn't streaming last weekend with Hawkeye passing away, but, um, you know, Hawkeye helping us out for that last game. So that was really cool. Um, all right. Yeah. So, uh, that's it here for the sub battle tomorrow. If, uh, as you can see, we got a 12 hour stream tomorrow, starting at noon Eastern noon to midnight. Um, going to have a lot of fun stuff. Going to have some, uh, budget best of one decks. That's, that's something that I'm planning on making tonight while I'm watching the Super Bowl. Um, but, uh, there we go. That's it for the sub battle stream. So y'all on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. And, uh, I'll see you for the next video.